Hello and welcome to this first look mod video. Today we're going to be looking at the Flower Crusher by MA7 Studio or Matt Studio, depending on how you want to look at it. So let's jump into it, let's go. So the Flower Crusher comes in under factories. It works functionally uh, much like a grain mill. Uh, this one also puts out mineral feed. It costs uh, 36,000. Has a monthly upkeep of 30 pounds, euros or dollars. So for the convenience, we're just gonna plonk this down at the front of the farm there like that. No extra cost. Let's get down and have a closer look at it. So the blurb for this one reads, the machine to transform your grain into cereal flour or animal feed. Um, production types of flour, rice flour and mineral feeds. So it looks, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a homemade milling machine, isn't it? Is what it is. Get our torch on again. It's always so blooming dark. Need to fix the lightning again, please. So we've got a nice detailed building. I like this. It's worn and rusted. Like you've made this. You'll stick this around the back of your farm and you'll have made this yourself out of an old shed. Got a small silo on the go, an old bin on the go, and uh, yeah, doing your thing. That's pretty cool. I like it. Got the generator sounds running. Got a bit of grain in there already. Bag on the top. So we have. Um, I'm guessing this is our unload trigger. Now I'll be, I'm intrigued to see what happens here because I thought the rices, oh sorry, the flowers, um, came palleted, but this looks like a poor. So we'll see what happens here, unless something maybe spawns here or whether there's just a parking bay. I don't know. Um, we unload into the top by the looks of it. And uh, we manage it around the back. So if we just have a little look inside its doings. So we can produce barley flour, mineral feed, oat flour, rice flour from long grain rice, rice flour from regular rice, sorghum flour, wheat flour. So on mineral feed, this is the one that's going to intrigue me. Um, what do we, so if we scroll down, it tells us, so three barley, three corn, one soybean will give us, will give us, that's not very good English, will give us five mineral feed. And it does 257 cycles per month. And at a cost of 24 of your local currencies per month. So with the barley, 48 cycles 120 cycles on the oat flour so it's 15 oat to 15 flour 30 barley to 22 flour the rice for long grain is 15 to 13 at 72 9 to 15 for 72 on the regular rice sorghum flour is 15 to 13 at 120 and then we've got 5 to 4 for 252 that doesn't seem like a lot of cycles per month. I've not looked into much on the production side of things. So this is going to be my first look at productions for 22. So uh, let's get some materials in here. So we've got oat, rice, sorghum, soybeans, wheat, corn, some rice and some barley. Luckily, put my torch away. We got ourselves a JCB around the front here. So we'll get some fillings. And I do have a naughty, a naughty little um, bio station at the back of the farm, purely for this sort of thing. So we'll grab some corn. Now that's only 4,000 litres in the bucket. So it held 30,000 litres of each type, but it looks like... looks like we have to fill off the top so let's try and get this in here how accurate do we need to be oh that'll do oh love a little bit of contact so that's four thousand liters of corn in there now i do have around the corner the john Deere set up with a trailer so let's see if we can actually do that any quicker with a tractor and trailer. See if we can just back up and load into it. 
or even if we can back up maybe in on the other side and load into it, there's a bit more space. I brought the John Deere out of here and gathered the, uh, the trailer up from the shed. So we'll grab ourselves some barley and we'll see if we can empty this in. I mean, this may not work. It, it, it may want us to just do this all by bucket. You, you never know. You just don't... Hmm. Come on, let's... Oh, sneaky. We got it in a little bit. Will that unload for us? Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm willing to try and find myself a spot to get that to unload. Because clearly there is enough trigger outside of there. What if we jam it in down the... Ooh, can't even reverse now. I'm getting excited. Jam it down the side. It's because the wheel's got really loose. We know how much I love the, uh, the loose steering in Farm Sim. Oh, oh. Will that bounce off? Or will that jam in? It's going. It's probably a bit naughty that I'm doing this. Well, that went in. Let's get 8,000 litres of... Um, oh no, I've jammed it right in. Is it going to come out? <laughs> I've broken it already. Oh, it's coming out. There we go. Right, let's get some wheat, and then we'll see if we can maybe unload it a little better from round the back. Well, it was a little easier to back this in there. I'm not sure if that's going to clip and push us out again. Oh, that looks much better. So it's a, it's a bit naughty, but if you get in just the right spot, that did push us out a little bit. If you get in just the right spot, you can unload your materials, but I think it's supposed to be done with the bucket. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to load 8,000 litres of each of the uh, fillable materials, and then we'll see what production looks like. So I've put one of each of the other crop types in there. The only thing I couldn't put in there is rice, because I haven't added rice to my multi-cell point. Not yet, so I need to get on that. Um, but if we... Come in here, you'll see we've got barley, corn, oat, sorghum, soybeans, and wheat. So we should be able to produce our mineral feed, which I'm intrigued by. So we'll activate that. That should be storing. Do our barley flour, our oat flour, sorghum flour, wheat flour. So all of that is now running. It's going to be quite expensive. And like I said, I'm not sure how much we're going to get because the cycles don't look a lot now I think we're going to go to allow this time oh by the way this is the sweet spot this is a sweet spot for deliveries coming at an angle just there no collisions on anything unload brilliant right so I'm going to head home we'll sleep until we'll give it 24 hours we'll give it 11 o'clock tomorrow and um, we'll see what's produced so, 11 o'clock in September. Okay, so we've got pallets. Right. So maybe the flowers all spawn. So we've got active productions out of the bottom there. And it's telling you what we've got. So we've got 6,000 litres or 6,500 litres of... Oh, that's... <laughs> Let me give me head around that. So store it's all flower under one thing. So with all of that going, we've got 3,000 or 3,500 litres of flour in a day with all of that running at the same time. Mineral feed we've produced um, one and a quarter thousand litres, 1,250, excuse me, litres. So if I, I'm just going to be naughty and turn my super strength on, move that. We'll grab that one. Another pallet will fall because they are 1,000 each. And then the mineral feed is coming in like that as well. So we don't even have to use the pipe. They just spawn as and when they're ready. 
Oh, we've got... <laughs> oh. Okay, that's, that's everything out now. That's everything out. That is a full 1,000, yeah? And that's a full 1,000 leads as well. Okay, that's... That's not bad, is it? On your little farm. That is good. And like I say, you can put rice in there as well. I've not got rice on my... Uh, on my naughty cell point. So we couldn't get that in there. But that has produced that pretty... Pretty quickly. And be able to stick that on the back of your farm for... What was that? 36 grand? Not bad at all. I like that. That's a handy little mod. Uh, the Flower Crusher. And again, that is by MA7 Studio or Matt Studio. However that one wants to be pronounced. But that is quality. I like that. This is the sort of thing that I'd work in on my gameplay. Because I often do the small farm thing. So if, the, if that's you, or that's how you're starting out. Slap this down around the back of your farm. And uh, get some home produce going. Brilliant stuff. Absolutely brilliant. Hopefully... You guys have enjoyed this as much as I've enjoyed doing it. If you have, give it, a bit fat, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on. Find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day. And hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.